the restoration of Falling Sands Viaduct. And one of the last jobs is to complete the lines of brick corbelling. Half of these lines were removed in the 1970s and now it's time to put things right. But all is not quite what it seems. To make the replacement corbelling, a mould was taken from the original brickwork and the individual pieces were formed using GRP or glass reinforced plastic. Uh, we're installing a metal rail and the GRP then hooks onto that is resin barred and bolted into the wall. And at the bottom, we are using long screws with a roll plug, fixing them into the wall and drilling it in nice and tight. And it looks jolly hard work. <laughs> What's it like being there for? <laughs> for such a long time? Yeah, it's not too bad, you kind of get used to it to be honest. You've got a nice comfy chair, everything's attached to you so you don't have to fetch anything. Is this the sort of stuff you do all the time? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Sort of all over the country. Hanging nice about places. 60 feet above the ground or whatever it is, I don't know. <laughs> Looks about terrifying. I saw that, you get used to it like I say. Most of the time you forget it's there. How tricky is what they're doing at the moment? Fairly tricky to keep it all in line. Um, obviously, hanging on a rope and in the small movements, it can all yeah, it's quite unsteady. Um, but the guys are pretty comfortable with it, so it's going well. What do you think about the match for the old to the new? Uh, actually, I think it's looking quite good. Obviously, there is a slight difference because it is a newer product, and it would be the same if it was new brickwork as well. But it is, look, it's looking really good. Looks very nice. Looks very good. Yeah, it's, it's quite an improvement. You can see um, how it's improved all the way along. I mean, when we first got moved here and I walked down here, it was it was uh, not terrible, but I admire them all. <laughs> The £1.25 million restoration project was made possible by generous donations and a grant from the National Lottery Heritage Fund and its completion is planned for mid-December.